Hey, greetings, Tuberinos. How you doing? Yes, it turns out I've had me an idea. The idea being that I want to get back to doing some live hangouts. I had the pleasure to participate in a few a while back. A couple years ago, I even hosted a couple myself. So I thought I might give it a try. I'm going to uh, show a little bit of video here, courtesy of the Quiet Atheists channel. Uh, check him out. Good dude. We'll uh, link you up below there. Uh, but this video segment uh, featuring uh, your truly and a few others having a little fun with the creationists just uh, the kind of video that I suspect I would have a lot of fun doing check it out and if you're all interested let me know below comment we uh, just may host one you can jump in and uh, we'll roast some <laughs> later you understand no, we understand a lot of things pal if I were to make a positive claim like I said I would say that this alleged God does not exist. I would say God does not exist. That's a positive claim. See, you don't know my background. I'm what they call an agnostic atheist, okay? I do not know if there is a God out there, okay? I will admit that a person would have to literally know everything there is to know about the universe in its entirety. So because of, the, because of that fact, and because there is no evidence to support this proposition of an actual God existing, I lack the belief in one. Okay. Now, you, st you stated that there's no evidence. There's no um, evidence. Okay, good. If I told you that there was or was not... Can anybody not else here talk once in a while? Does this guy own this what? show or what? Quiet. You're uh, hey, quiet. Jo Joseph. Hey, Joseph. Hey, 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 hold on. Hold on. Darwin. 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 Darwin's deity. Hold on a second, okay? Sure, sure. Just hold on one second. Let's, uh, Dude, whose show is this? Whose show let, is this, man? Let's let Joseph speak. What do you want to say, Joseph? You know, man, I've, I've been sitting here listening to a lot of this guy's nonsense, and I'd like to point out the fact that he, he went through a lot of uh, scripted leading nonsense to get you guys to the point to the, where he can say, you know, atheists can't know anything because of brain chemistry, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and probabilities, nonsense. Now, where, and then he makes the point, he says, oh, you can't make a positive claim that you don't know God exists, but he can make a positive claim that because he has a special connection with his creator, he knows that God created a universe wherein this is all consistent. That's he not what I said, Joseph. That proves God. Joseph, that's not what I said. Yeah, you know that's where you're going, pal. Joseph, call him out. Call said, him out. Joseph. He'll block you next. Let's I'm have a little intellectual now. honesty here. That's okay. you, that's why you're running the script. That's why you started out okay. talking about atheism versus who knows what. And let's be honest. Yes, the only thing anyone can know absolutely is I exist. Anything else beyond that is probability, including okay. your existence, okay. your God existence, everything. Everything is a continual recalculation based upon what we know, and what we know is based upon experimentation in the observable universe upon which we have access. Now, you're implying that you have a special connection with your creator that lets you say somehow that other people that have that same I didn't know say better. That, Joseph. Joseph, then I get to your point, would you? Would you okay. please get to your well, point? Either. Rather than going, no, let me finish this. Rather than going through your obvious script that all other such people have went through to get to that point, what is your point, sir? I have okay. listened for quite a while. What is your point in the end? Please. Okay. Well, I have several points. My first point... No, no, get to, get to the one point you're trying me. to get to. I waited till you were done. Thank you. Get to it. Okay, are you done interrupting me? I don't oh, interrupt, I make a ass. point. L listen, you, you interrupted other people, and now it's your turn. Now, I will listen. Get to your point. Okay, first of all, you misrepresented what I actually said. I did not say... Uh, no, I didn't that, at all. Uh, excuse no, me, I didn't, I didn't interrupt all. you. I've, met, I've okay. met hundreds like you. Hey, hundreds. You're interrupting me. Get to it. You're interrupting me. Don't don't play the drama. Get to the point. Never mind, I, I'm I'd interrupting like, you. I'd like to Get respond to without being interrupted. Get to it, man. Good. Are you going to interrupt me? Shut up. 
get a hey, Darwin's Didi, get to the main point that you want to get to. Okay, well, first of all, I would just like to say that Joseph misrepresented what I said. I did not say <laughs> that in order point. for me to know something, I have to have a special relationship with God. That is not what I said. I said, if it is the case that the Christian God exists, then we, both atheists and theists, can know things by virtue of the fact that the Christian it? God exists. I did not say that one must believe in the Christian God exists. I said it would have to be the case that the Christian God did exist in order to know things. Now, <laughs> what is um, what's your proof for that? That the, the Christian okay. God must exist for us to know things. Okay, now... What's your proof um, of that? Now, Provide you, your evidence okay. for that supposition. Now, you claimed, you claimed that you know that you exist. Now, must the laws of logic be true in order for you to make that claim? Okay, <laughs> Here we go again. What a bunch like of Like I bullshit. said, listen carefully. Listen carefully. The only thing I can know in any sense, logic or otherwise, absolutely, is I exist. Therefore, I am. Anything beyond that is perception based upon okay. evidence in the observable universe to which we have access. Okay. What else have you got? Okay, so in order, to, in order to make rational statements about anything, for example, your existence or something else existing, must the laws of logic be true in order to make that statement? Probably. Okay, well, it's either yes or no. Probably. Okay, is that a yes? You aren't listening. Okay, good. Well, I'll take I'll take that as a yes. No, he well, said probably, probably, asshole. Okay, good. The now, probability is high, but I cannot say absolutely. Okay, well, then you don't know that the laws of logic are, in fact, universal. You just believe that they are. Agreed. Based upon probability, okay, that okay, is what good. I act upon. Okay, good. So then, then your ability to make a statement that you know, such as I exist or the Washington Monument exists, that is predicated on, on the idea that the laws of logic exist and that they're universal. No, again, you uh, missed my point. The only thing of which no. I know absolutely is I exist. I do not know absolutely that the Washington Monument exists, though okay. it probably does. No, you're misunderstanding me. Um, you are misunderstanding me. Apply okay. logic yourself. If you, right, me, if you okay, want to have a question, this. if you are questioning me about logic exists, apply it to the best of your okay. you I'll, can. I'll, 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 I'll reformulate it in such a way that makes it easier to understand. Please um, do. Must, okay, must your Please brain do. chemistry, must your brain chemistry and my brain chemistry be non-chaotic in order for us to reason? No. Okay, so you could reason if your brain chemistry was chaotic? Probably. Well, the answer is no. No, I don't think no. so. I think you're probably wrong. Okay. If so, you'll do, so uh, my turn, my turn. Yeah, sure, if you do ahead. a little, if you'll do a little basic uh, research on physiology, you, you'll discover that in fact the brain exists in a state of mostly order, somewhat chaos. In fact, recently scientists have discovered evidence of what they call anti-memories. In fact, chemical processes in the brain which on purpose, destroy old memories, chaos, in order to promote new order, probably. Look okay. it up. Okay, so you just affirmed what I said. You, you affirmed that the Take brain... Take it any way you wish. You just affirmed that in order to reason that you have to have mostly order in your brain. Indeed. Okay, good. So you agreed with me then. I agree with you mostly. Okay, Okay. good. So in On order... that for, point. Okay, good. So in Proceed. order... Okay, good. So in order for you to reason correctly that you exist, your brain chemistry would have to operate regularly, right? Probably. Okay, good. Now, do you in have... In fact, I'm altering that chemistry right now, and I'm okay. still doing pretty well here, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um...